How to fight bike in the movie. Directed by Marvello. Okay, so the way I like to do matchups is I like to break them down into a few different things, right? So the important thing is we got to talk about round starts, right? How do you start the round against against Viking? You know, um, you have to talk about. Mm, here we go. Oh, you guys found my hidden file. Look at the hidden file, bro. We're going to break it down. Round stars, right? So this is common round star options for biking, right? Bar slash 2H, nothing. This is what they do. Okay. So if we were to, I'm gonna move this out of here, put this over here, okay? All right, so let's go back into the game and go through the matchups first. So round starts are important. What do we react to? What we could punish on block? What's the neutral like? And any OS's. Okay, those are the important things. So round start, first off, what do Bikins like to do, right? Bikins like to, if we put this easy like, easy like this, this is how I do all my training. After I put all the round starts. We put far slash, what else, 2H. They like 2H. Okay. And uh, what else? They sometimes do nothing. Maybe 2, 2K if they're smart. So first we got to figure out what we could do against far slash. So we got to use all of our tools. Okay. So far slash trades. 5H trades, which is fine. Yeah, I know, right? I can't wait to play that. With I actually talked to, to Tyson, Aaron. So delayed 5H could punish. Delayed far slash could also punish, but it's a little tricky. Just like that. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about far slash. Okay. This button, this button with Viking, right here, this is the, the really, really annoying thing for chip players to deal with, okay? Super fucking annoying. And the reason is, is that it's super disjointed and it's hard to whiff punish. You know, like a lot of people try to whiff punish it straight and they get clipped, right? When a bike in is mashing it, it's super hard. Super hard to do. You know? So the best tool to actually whiff punish it is a lot of the times dash 2k. So doing dash 2k on reaction to her whiffing that is the better play. Okay? Super huge. Super huge. Okay? So round start against bike in. Okay, against far slash, we saw that doing nothing is pretty good. What about against 2H? What is 2H? What about 2H? Okay, so that'd be, what about my far slash? Okay, so it, it beats far slash if I mash it. What about 5H? Okay. Not bad. So 5H beats it clean. 5H beats it clean. As you notice, it's really hard to combo bike in. So it, it's important to go for the falling jump slash. 
so that your conversion is more consistent. Falling JK um, could lead to a lot of problems. As you see there. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You know her hurt box is annoying as fuck. Okay, so it looks like 2S beats the, the 2H. 2H doesn't seem really good in the matchup. It seems to only really be, you know, maybe a delayed far slash. Yeah, like if I delay the far slash, it'll beat it. But mashing, mashing 5H seems to be pretty good. Because 5H, 5H will um, trade with her far slash, which is fine. Um, and it'll uh, be 2H. So... Not bad, pretty good. So we got we got some stuff built up. How do you get round start after? Yeah, it's a setting. Yeah, it's a setting. So here we go. We got a little bit common round start far slash. Right, two H. Nothing. What beats this? Five H. All right, so we're clear. Or uh, trades. Five H loses to delayed far slash or nothing. Okay, so delayed far slash delayed two K is pretty good. Um, yeah, 6P will beat, 6P will beat the far slash kind of, um, cleanly. But the thing about 6P is that it's a risk. If you whiff it, if they just decide to do nothing and you whiff it, you're getting 2 h It's going to hurt. Okay. Um, far 5 h delayed beats 5, uh, far slash. But, um, if you delay it, um, if you, if you don't delay it and you mash it, you might beat him outright or at the very worst you'll trade which is not bad for you so if you see right here right mashing 5h right that's on the 2h far slash trade okay what if we delay it a little bit trade delayed even harder yeah, but at that point, you're not going to get a lot of damage. You know? And it's risky, because if they do 2H and you delay it, what happens? You get counter hit. So don't de don't delay the, the... Don't just delay it. React to what they do. React to what they do. So I personally, in the matchup, like to spam 5H at round start. You could kind of build up on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll trade. But you, you know, you show her that you're not to be fucked with at the start. You know, you restart neutral. And then you build up your 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 offense. Okay? So, 5H is pretty good. Also, nothing. It, doing down back into and just waiting gets you a potential to whiff punish her. So, just being able to down back and see what they do. Oh, far slash, I'm going to whip punish with 2k. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Okay, super important to note is that in the matchup, like I said, either 5h or do nothing. That's what I do against Viking, and it and it works. And they have to kind of guess between what I'm going to do. Because once they once they are like, "Oh, I'm going to trade 2." Then that's when you do nothing and then you start punishing them for it. You know, and then once they stop doing that, then you could assert your dominance with with 5H. You feel me? So 5H, playing around 5H at the start is really good. Okay, I personally like to 5H a lot because it also beats the 2H. It beats a lot of their buttons. Look what else it beats. Let's see. Let's let them do. Let them do. Uh, what's this one? What is that? 2K. Does it beat this? I never see him use this anyway. It doesn't reach. What about 2P? 
or 5k maybe 5k they do sometimes yeah 2p loses what about 5k let's see oh look at that look at how many options are covered just by using 5h you feel me 5h this bitch all right so that's the that's the strategy 5h or nothing okay so let's go back to our our notes here 5h Two K five uh, K loses to five H. Two H loses to five H. Five H or nothing is a good round start option. Okay, that's what I like to do. Okay, all right. What else? What else is important? Okay, so what could we react to in the matchup? Do you guys know? Tell me in the chat. Tell me in the chat. What do what are some things that we could actually physically react to? All right? Cuz it's important. It's important that we know like what we physically could look at and punish on reaction. And every matchup has that. Okay? H Kabari. Can we react to H Kabari? That's kind of hard. That is kind of hard for me at least. And reactable so we're aware it's something that's like um blocked overhead without bar yeah that's good that's really good um what about okay let's look at dust loop anything that's like roughly 20 frames or less is reactable like consistently when you when you get to things that are lower than that it's it's you can if you put a lot of energy to it it's possible it's possible to react to anything that's like 15 frames or less or more 15 frames is like the bare minimum probably j j s yo johnson yeah probably let's look at our recovery frames so i go i go straight i go straight into um i go straight into uh let me show you guys if you're a god you could do faster than 18 but anything faster than that is inconsistent okay all right so let's uh okay all right so anything more than 20 frames okay so 5h reactable bar slash is active for six frames and then you what i do is i add them up you know, you add them up. 29, right? 6, 21. Um, start up, right? It's about 30 frames total. Okay? React. That's reactable. Um, and then you have this one, like 39 frames total. Very reactable. All that stuff is reactable. 20... 2k is 20 frames but that's reactable so if you see 2k with how do you punish that right you use dash 2k if you see 2s with 32 frames of recovery you have to with punish s chip you have to with punish everything everything the problem with chip is that you have to know the ranges that you could with punish stuff right because you have there's there's time it takes to dash up right you don't always have the so what could we react to what's important in the matchup okay um let me think far slash super important what up snap cap hope you're doing well far slash 2h uh what is it her what's her counter called viking counter yeah um uh what is it 2k 
Yeah, we could just take Fairy. <laughs> it has a name. It has a name. Instant Air Dash. Right? What else? I mean, okay, so what about, like, on block? Does she have anything punishable on block? You know? That's the next thing you gotta find out. That's what I would find out. It's what's punishable on block. Right? Especially the 2H and things like that. Okay, so this is punishable on block. 2H is punishable on block. She could cancel it though into Kabarth. This is punishable on block, you see? Because all of those things are potential RPS points. You know? And sometimes if you see that they're not canceling after them, you have to start punishing them to force them to cancel, you know? So Tommy Matt minus three, really important to know. Okay. Uh, Kabari. Kabari start up on the slow one, 31 frames. H Kabari is 18 frames start up. Kind of hard to, to react to, in my opinion. Um, but doable. Okay. Yo, Johnson is instant. I mean, that's too... It's unreactable. You gotta just know it's coming. Okay? Yeah, so that's pretty much... That's pretty much it. Okay? So we got parry, instant air dash. 6k. Uh, Kabari, right? Let's just put all of that here. Okay? And then we're gonna put... What could we punish on block? Right? We said 6k. Uh, what is it? Uh, tatami. 6k. Um, what else? Yeah, we are. We are. This is a, this is a Viking guide. This is actually how to fight bike in the movie, directed by Marvella. So we can punish on block. Kabari. Super important to know. 2h. Um, and those are like the key things you want to punish on block, okay? But let's see, let's see the, what we could react to. So, far slash, right? Whoops. Okay, here we go. How do we punish far slash? We talked about it, right? You see, I want to be at like this range. So that I could do that. Okay. You see how it said punish? You want to check her every fucking time that she throws that. Either with far slash. Or with 2k. Depending on your range of where you are. If I'm like... We could take that off now. If I'm like further... If I'm further... If I'm at this range, I want to use 2k because it's more consistent. Or a k button, just like that. See, far slash, you could do it. It's just a little harder. And it could, you could lose. See how... It's doable. Far slash is like higher risk, higher, better reward. But easy, easier to whiff punish is 2k. So 2k, 2k you could whiff punish with. Safe, safe punish. If you're close, right? But if not, far slash is not bad there. The problem is, is that when they start mashing the far, far slash, you know, it becomes a lot harder. See, see what happens. So if you do, that's me trying to far slash. You have to be like really on point with it. If not, you're going to get, you're going to get fucked over. Right? So instead, 
It's a little easier to do dash 2k. See? You'll counter hit her for doing it. So dash 2k, really important. Really, really important. Okay? Dash 2k punishes the far slash. Okay, what else did we have? We had 2h. What do we react to? 2h? This shit is, uh, is pretty nuts. Right? If this whiffs, you get a close slash punish. Just like that. Is solo 2D possible? Hmm, let's see. I don't think so. I don't like using 2D. Here. It's too slow. See that? 2D is good for lows. 2D, you want it, 2D and 6H, you want to use to hit low attacks. Okay? Far slashes? Definitely not. Look at that. It's too slow to beat the... To whip punish it on reaction. Maybe 5H? 5H could, you could use. If you want. But it's, it's... Like I said, it's slow. You're going to have to counter poke them. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. You can do it from that distance. See? But when we're talking with punish on reaction, 2k. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. 2k all day. Okay? Kalis Von Sestiev. It's a cool name. Um, Alright. So then what else? We were talking about 2h. So here's the thing about 2h, right? This is where the magic happens in the matchup. Most of them cancel it into that, right? But if they whiff it, you get a far slash, or a or a or a, um, a close slash. Okay, so that's really really good for you. However, this is where things get interesting in the matchup. As Chip, it is super important, okay, that if you are blocking, if you're blocking Biken. Okay, and let me go back to let's let's go back to the notepad. Hmm, where did it go? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Bike and block strings. Let's call this defending against Biken. I am, I am, most likely. That's Biken and you. Okay. So, basically, the most important thing you have to train yourself, especially as a chip player, is if you're blocking Biken, if you're blocking Biken, do not backdash. Okay? Let's say that again. One more time for the people in the back. Chips, as a chip player, I understand. You fucking love. We love to backdash. You need to be super careful against Biken. Okay? Because 2H catches backdash. Okay? So if I was to do a general string here. Oh my god, I got caught. I got caught. So what do you do against this? What do you do against this? Yeah, we'll talk about 6K. So here is here's matchup tip number one. Instead of backdashing, try to IB the 2H. It's huge. Once you're able to do that, okay. Okay. Once you're able to do that, this is what happens. Okay. Okay. 
Now watch what happens. Punish. She can't do anything about it. If you if you manage to IB the 2H and she commits to Kabari, even if she follows up Kabari, she's getting thrown. It's a guaranteed throw, just like um, against Leo. So practicing IBing her 2H is really strong in the matchup. Super good. It changes the game a lot. As Chip, this is the one matchup that you really want to know IBs and IBFDs for. It's super good against her. Okay. Now what happens if she cancels it? All right. Hold on. Let me try that again. How do you do it? Oh, it's it's quarter circle or half circle. Okay. You see how I put it to cancel? Fuck off me. Okay. You see how she you you see how she gets grabbed? She gets grabbed right out of that shit like it's nothing. Right? So it's easy. So once you once you commit to not backdashing her, and instead of backdashing you IB, you dash you uh you dash IB, you know, you try to get the IB on the on the 2H. Then she's committed, she's forced to start instead of doing Kabari after that. You'll see them start to do shit like um Hold up. Tatami guys, right? Now how do you deal with Tatami? Super important in the matchup. Right? But there's a couple ways you could do it. Damn it, that shit happens instantly. Okay, let's re-record that. No. I put her to block, right? So then what happens if you do this? Right? Right? That's a safe that's a safe ender. She's minus three. Your far slash is nine frames. She could beat it with anything six frames or faster. So 2k, 5k. So then that introduces a different layer. So then what you could do instead, when they start doing that, you F you FD her. Okay, because FD beats the, the tatami mat like super free. Okay. So just being able to... She has to hold that. So mixing up between IB so that she could whiff the mat. You could even hit her most likely for trying to put the mat up in the first place. See that? Look at that. So Matt isn't good. Matt is not good. So playing against her block string enders is like a very important part of the matchup. So you could do... The other thing I like to do... Once I see them doing that, then they can't anti-air you. They have to come in to like parry or some shit. But they always get counter hit there for whatever reason. Um, so that's really important to understand. Alternatively, another R another IB point in the matchup is we were kind of talking about, right? If you if you manage to IB this, guaranteed punish. It can be the JH could counter hits them a lot. You'd be surprised. If you do it quick, if you do it quick enough, you can punish them. Um, so like I said, trying to IB her a lot. Yeah, the pair, she can parry. Sometimes you end up crossing her up. So they get counter hit in parry attempts as well. Right? So if they do... Okay, now let's put her to do... How do you do her parry? How do you do her parry? Oh, it's down forward. Okay. That 
That parry got smoked. Let's try that again. Okay. Yeah, it's hard for them. It's hard for them. So knowing how to like jump at them, super important. Okay. So learning how to deal with their block strings, very important, guys. Defending against Viking, do not backdash. Instead, try to IB um, her 2H and her 6K consistently. And. Try to FD some, her pressure to force to Tommy to whiff. And if it whiffs, you get to jump in on her as chip. Okay? And mix in these two things. But don't backdash. Okay? All right. The next thing that's really, really important in the matchup. Okay? Super important, guys is you have to pay attention to how much meter she has okay the reason it's important okay is that you see a lot of bikings do this um hold up let me record this again hold on that's not what i wanted you see a lot of bikings do this or hold up Let's get mid screen. They love to challenge. They love to challenge after Kabari. Okay. So if they do not have bar to cancel uh, Kabari. It's kind of important to RPS against Bike in there, just like it is with Chip. Because she's going to try to turn steal as much as possible. So, like this, right? So as a Chip player, you need to counter hit them there. You need to have some balls and hit her when she tries to throw the Kabari. All right? Because, um... If not, they're just gonna pressure you endlessly. So then what ends up happening is that you're gonna force them to start canceling it, right? Right? And do you remember what I taught you about I being her too? Is if you think that she's gonna do, um, let's re-record that, right? So if she if you manage to block that, you gotta punish her, right? She loses 80 damage. However, if you manage to dash block, I try to dash. I um in this situation, I try to IB the follow up. Okay. Because as Chip, if you IB the follow-up, you get a, a, a close slash starter. So you'll see right here. Look at the damage difference. Okay. So keeping that in mind, like if, if you think that they're going to cancel, try to react to the IB and try to get a 5k or a 2k. Okay, super important. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Remember to RPS. You have to RPS. Viking kind of forces you to RPS. So you want to...
After a blocked Kabari, you need to challenge sometimes with far slash. Not always. Ideally, when they don't have meter to cancel, um, to make uh, the follow up safe. Now, sometimes, sometimes they don't, they do it anyway. Sometimes they do it fucking anyway, bro. They'll just fucking, you know, um, they'll cancel it anyway, you know, um, cause they're crazy and you got to accept that they're fucking crazy, but you got to force them to want to cancel it. You have to force the RPS. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're feral, bro. They're feral. They're crazy. Okay. All right. So then, um, what else? What else? What else? What else is important? After block Kabari? Yep. Okay. The next thing. And let's specify. H Kabari. All right. Ideally, when they don't have meter to make it safe. Okay. What about after a blocked S Kabari? Okay. What's the best thing to do? Because blocked S Kabari is pretty fucking bad too. Right? What's blocked S Kabari? Plus, uh, plus two. So you'll see a lot of Vikings do like that, right? So the thing is, if you see them, you see any, it'll be at everything. It'll beat everything. Okay. Kabari cross up. Kabari cross up. It's like kind of not that good. So I don't, I don't see it a lot. Um, so it's not really like too crazy to worry about, but there is an option to like to beat it. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this real quick. Right here, you want to RPS with DP and fuzzy jump, okay? Because if they don't, if they backdash, because sometimes they're going to backdash to bait the, um, the DP, and you got to RPS here, because you can't let them fucking do that 2P shit on crate, you know. You can't let him. Right? So then what, I, what ends up happening is if you get a 2P or is if you get a DP, you get to juggle her. You see what I'm saying? Just like this. Oh, I fucked it up. But you get the point. And the juggle's pretty easy with Chip. Glow slash 6H. Into whatever you want. Just loop glow slash into 6H. Then you get a combo. So remember. After. Um, right? After Block Desk Kabari. RPS with DP. And delayed fuzzy jump. Okay. Because what ends up happening, let's see, let me show you what happens when you do when they when they choose to backdash. Here's the other option that they do. They do this to bait DP. Because if, if you if they guess right on a DP, it, it hurts. Right? But you gotta you gotta do it. You know, they do some shit like that. I don't know, I don't play her. But my point is, is if you do it and you jump, now you're in the air. You could kind of start pressure against her. Right? So just fuzzy jumping after kind of puts you in a good position where you could um, kind of maneuver around her, her shit with your triple jump. Okay? Really good. Really, really good. Against Viking. So what else? What else is important? We're basically almost done. What else is important? Okay, what's the neutral like? Okay, that's important. So we talked about how to punish. We talked about how to punish, um, you know, everything we could react to. How, how bad is it to just accept your fate and block the 2P? That's fine. Because the thing is, is that by doing a delayed fuzzy jump, you are blocking the 2P. 
Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not fuzzy jumping immediately. I'm delaying the fuzzy jump in case she tries to grab me. So like if she does an immediate 2P, I'll just block it. You feel me? You don't ever want to just block in this game. You want to do like delayed fuzzies. You want to make it hard for them. Make sense? Okay. Good. All right. So what else were we talking about? What else were we talking about? We were talking about what we could react to. This is part of the neutral, right? R slash 2H, 2K. Let me show you what else is important. Okay. So in this matchup, like especially when I'm pressuring Viking, I like to... Um, Vikings are gonna ma are either gonna mash buttons on you, they're gonna press far slash 2k 2p, they're gonna press on you, or they're gonna parry. Some of them like to block a little bit, but most of them just mash and, and parry. There's the, there's no other choice, right? Damn super, super's gonna fuck me up if I do anything. Let's forget about this and just mash. They backdash too sometimes. So, see how that beat that? So I like to pressure into 5H sometimes um, and 2H wreck a one, okay? Right here, um, I like to mix in Gamma Blades, right? Because it'll beat the parry. Just like that. Super good. Super, super good. Oh, my food's here. Let's go. Okay. So, it's super important when you're running offense as Chip on Viking that you utilize Gamma Blade well. Gamma Blade and Alpha Blade is like the key to rushing that bitch down. Okay, you have to know that you have to first of all have all the conversions off a of Gamma Blade on the corner super well, which they're 2D, Reco 1, Reco 2, easy. Or, uh, hold up, 2K or 5K, um, Reco 1, right? So you could go. Hmm, why is that one not working? Let's get a gamma blade. See, that's pretty good. And basically, the whole point is you want to delay your 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 offense really hard. You want to do like you want to do nothing a lot. You know, you want to make it really weird in the timing, and never. Let's let's put this in the in the guide. Let's put this in the guide. Okay. Let's change this to how do we run offense on her? Okay. Um, always mix in gamma blades, alpha blades, command grabs. Delayed meaties into your offense Meaning You want to bait you want to make sure that that parry if they do a parry gets hit You know what I'm saying? Because those moves are immune to parry So I like to 2s2h command grab or 2s2h, you know You want to play the RPS and if they get hit by a gamma blade it could hurt right? Just like that. Easy. Okay. Also, let's go back to the guide. Um, don't safe jump her. Okay. Super fucking important, guys. Don't safe jump her. Um, obviously, she has a one frame parry. This is where a lot of chips go wrong. You can't, you can't safe jump her. Just don't. 
They have an OS that captures both sides too. So like if you jump over her, you're gonna get fucking parried. You know? So don't fucking do it. Do not safe jump her. Instead, you wanna utilize delayed gamma blade meaties. Okay? It looks like this. Alright. After wall break. After wall break, immediately throw a gamma blade if they have bar. And then just frame trap them like that. See that? Just immediately, immediately um, throw the gamma blade. Because what ends up happening, if they do, uh, what's that shit called? Is that the super? Or is it this one? Yeah, that's the one. So, on recovery, yeah, I'm gonna put him to do number that. You can't autopilot with Senshu, definitely not. So if they if they decide to super on wake up, right? Like right here. If you just meaty from over here, you see what happens? They get fucked. So you wanna make sure that you always when they have bar meaty gamma blade from full screen and just put them into positive force it okay that's really good if they don't have bar right this is what i do instead yeah don't use sensu if they don't have bar then you could kind of get closer and get another gamma blade you know from a closer distance and you can then mix up gamma blade with alpha blade and just kind of pressure safely like that uh, alternatively you could always do the full screen gamma blade and into mix and just hit her hit her hard as fuck okay so remember don't safe jump instead damn her back dash is good Okay. Delayed gamma. Just like that. You could sometimes get a pickup. It's a, it's a little hard depending on where you're at because there's a hit stop that happens. But yeah, mid screen you don't really get a pickup. But you you corner push sometimes. If they're close to the corner, you can get a pickup. But you really want to just meaty them safely. Gamma blades. If they if they get hit by it, you know, doing great. You're in the corner. Um, if they don't get hit by it, you know, then you could run offense. If they get hit by it, um, what else could you do? If, if they get hit by it, you could just go for like a delayed meaty. Be careful because some people will get hit by the first gamma and then parry immediately. Just like that. So you want to like structure your offense safely. Bait the parry as much as you can. Um, and if they if they throw, you know, a whiff at you, if they throw a button, whiff punish them. This matchup is hard, but it's very doable. But there's just a lot that you have to learn. There is a lot to learn. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. Okay? So, where are we at now? Always mixing Gamma Blades. Command grabs, don't save jump her, wait, one frame parry, immediate post super, wall break, immediate gamma, into PB, don't do the cross up setup, alpha blade her, if you want, no cross ups, and then here's the last thing, are there any OS's in the matchup?
Are there any OSs? There are. Here's what's cool. What happens if they grab you, right? You know how they do this thing where... I don't even know how to do it. How do you do... Co oh, yo, Johnson. You know how they do this? I don't even know how to do it. Oh, there you go. Okay. How do you even do it? How do you do her her mix? She has a mix. Oh, it's a super jump, maybe. Maybe it's a super jump. Yeah, there you go. So if she does this, there's actually an OS you could do. Okay. Which is, all right. You saw how I blocked it when it's in front? Okay. Let's try that again. Try this again. Whoa, why am I not blocking it? Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. Hold up. See how I block it? Now, if she does... I'm pretty sure... If she does... Actually set it up but there's a there's a six pos that you could do on her where if they do let's keep replaying that see how i'm doing that the throw setup is fake you could get out of it. When they do it like that. There's other versions that they could do. But you want to remember that there are there are things you could do. If the OS works the same with when she does the cross up, you, when she does this. Right? I don't even know how to do it. Okay. See how I, how I 6P it? So whenever you're choosing to block, just do down back and do those two buttons. If they happen to cross you up, you're gonna hit them, you're gonna hit them with a 6P. Okay? So that's a really good OS in the matchup. So that they don't get away with that. And then because you could then you could do a 6P and then just fucking hit them. Okay? Let's see if we could. How do you do your Johnson? Is it DP? Oh it's just oh it's just it's just quarter circle. Is it only back throw? Right, exactly. I gotta learn how to do it. Yo, Johnson. Um, yeah, so that's about it. 6P is really good in the matchup with the OS. And, uh, but it's not really, um too common that you're going to use it. Oh, you can't hold the throw button? Mm. But yeah, important to, cha mod to change your offense. Bait. Bait the parry. Gamma blade meaties. You know? One last tip. One last tip. After the throw in the corner, you know this setup? After throw in the corner, 
Let's put them to just block on recovery. And then after this, we could put Hiragi on block, right? Check this out. So you could see. See how they're pairing? When you have bar against Viking, you want to mix them up safely. You see? So you want to use BRC a lot. Okay, use BRC a lot. Okay. Six POS, DPOS with FD. Really good. We need to stop the chip hate, definitely. Um, yeah, and then like I mentioned, BRC after after throw in the corner for forced 50-50. Okay. And that's about it. That's the Viking matchup, guys. We went through it. I hope you guys learned something. This is the movie, this is the end. The end. The end. Hope that helped.